So first off, I'm Kyle. Um, I'm a third year PhD student and I've tutored statistics for a really long time. And this is basically the overview that I think people should take out of more or less undergrad. Um, it's, it goes further than that. I get into multiple regression even. I don't know if we'll get all the way through it. I have enough slides that we could go forever. Um, my goal is to get you through multiple regression. We'll see if we get there. We're going to start going through just a whole bunch of definitional stuff that I hate to just lay a bunch of definitions on you, but they're important conceptually as well because they really define the sort of landscape of what we're doing. Um, so we need to lay down a, a, a sort of foundation in which to understand the statistics. So the first half is what are samples, populations, descriptive statistics, just sort of broad sort of overview so that we can get into the stats. Um, the second half is a bunch of different statistical tests. Um, it's hard to do stats without being somewhat technical. I tried to make it as non-technical as possible. Um, well, that's not totally true. I tried to make it very comprehensible at least. Um, I do have equations in there. I don't necessarily expect you guys to know, and I don't want you to sort of shut down. Some people when they see math equations, they shut down. I'm going to walk you through all of them to show you what they're doing. Um, and some of them are more complicated than you need to know, but I just put them up there so that you understand sort of what the math is doing. You don't need to know what all the terms are. You don't need to know sort of, you know, oh, this term goes there and you're summing the variance or anything like that. I just want you to get a sense of what each of these statistical techniques does. And by the way, I know this stuff at a much deeper level than we're going to go into here. But even when I'm doing my own research, I'm not usually thinking about all the deeper level stuff. This is about the level that I'm thinking about it at. And this is the level probably I think that most people are thinking about it at. So if there's any confusion, if some weird term comes up that you're not sure about, please interrupt me. Um, also, it is presented in a fairly linear way, but it can't all be linear because there's things that have to be introduced before they're, you know, they're defined, before they're introduced, or vice versa. I'll try and connect all the pieces, so I'll try and say, you know, this is a term that's going to come up later, um, but let me know if there's some weird thing in there. Um, and I try to italicize or underline anything I think is important. So, What I want you guys to take out of this is just a basic understanding of what you're doing with statistics, what the logic is, why we use statistics, and when you're reading a paper, what they're doing. Why they did it that way and not some other way, and what you can actually infer from what they did. Does that make sense? Cool.